Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday Connections. Today is Tuesday, April the 27th. May the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Today, uh, I want to share with you a book that I've just started reading recently and, and give you a little bit of encouragement out of that and uh, out of the Gospel of Matthew. Before we go there, a uh, number of announcements today. Most notably, this Sunday is Youth Sunday. And uh, our our Worship is going to be a little bit different as it's led by our teenagers. We have several of our high school graduates, both of 2020 and 2021, that are going to be speaking from their hearts. And uh, we just look forward to celebrating our teenagers and what they bring to the church uh, in, in, in the way of their, their own experience and how they can bless the church this weekend. So I hope that each and every one of you will will we'll come ready to experience the Lord through the eyes of our and the work of our, our teenagers this week. That worship service this Sunday is at 10 a.m. It's different than normal. We have one worship service. It's at 10 a.m. So I want you to make sure that you know to be there uh, at 10 and not at 9 or 11.15 because we don't want you to miss it. It's going to be great. After worship this coming Sunday, we have a special fellowship lunch in the in the parking lot. We're... Um, we're, uh, we, we're going to have a food truck available for you to purchase lunch. We have free drinks and free dessert, uh, but we want everyone to come out. The, the food truck is Tom and Chi. I think they have gourmet, grilled cheese, that kind of that kind of stuff. So it's going to be uh, great food and great fellowship. So make plans to, to be out Sunday afternoon. Even if for whatever reason you're not able to attend the worship service, come out for lunch. It's going to be a great day. That's this coming Sunday, May the 2nd. Now, next Thursday, on May the 6th, we have an annual Cobb County Prayer Breakfast. This year, they have uh, once again decided not to do an in-person prayer breakfast, but to do a virtual prayer bre breakfast. And so what we're doing here at Eastminster is we're inviting everyone to come out to our Great Hall in the CLC. Uh, we're going to have some refreshments available, some coffee, and uh, we're going we're gonna to connect in corporately to the virtual Cobb County Prayer Breakfast to pray for our leaders, to pray for our community, to pray for revival right here in East Cobb and that God would use East Minster to be a part of that. And so uh, no registration need needed. Just come on out next Thursday, May the 6th at, uh, at 8 a.m. is when we'll begin and we hope to see you there. Uh, next, uh, VBS registration is uh, up. It's online. If you're ready to register your kids or your neighbor's kids for uh, for VBS, come on out. We also need volunteers, and so you can go online and say, just uh, put your name in that you're, uh, you're willing and ready to be a volunteer with VBS. We need volunteers, uh, as always, every year. A lot of churches in the area are not doing VBS, and so we're, we're committed uh, at this point to, to moving forward with VBS in person, uh, but we need the help. We need the hands, and that's that's all of us. And so all hands on deck. Let's make this happen. Let's make it special, uh, and let's be an example for uh, churches in East Cobb that we can we can do this. All right. Uh, and lastly, uh, I've, I've said this for a couple of weeks, going to keep saying it, we need tech team volunteers. Uh, the tech team consists of uh, people who are willing to learn a little bit about sound, a little bit about video production, uh, you can do this. If, uh, if you have any computer uh, tools at all, and, and who doesn't these days, if you're watching this, you're watching it on some smart device. And so this includes you. It's an, it's a, you know, it's an invitation to you to get plugged in with a, with a tech team. Uh, we really need some volunteers. We, we have a brand new camera system, but we need people to run it. And so um, it, this is not a commitment that you're gonna be locked into every single Sunday in perpetuity. You know, the more volunteers that we get, the more uh, we, can, we can spread out the, uh, the responsibility, spread out the calendar. Uh, hopefully it's maybe a once a month or uh, maybe once every five or six weeks. That, uh, that you'll have an opportunity to come and serve the church in this way. And so please consider that. Uh, talk to Jamie. You can send me a note. Let me know. We'll get you plugged in for some training. Now, I told you I started a new book. Uh, this book is called Gentle and Lowly, and it's by uh, Dane Ortland. And about a month ago, I got uh, a, a, a text from a friend of mine who's a pastor in Belfast, Ireland, and he told me that Crossway 
was offering uh, free books to, to churches that, that wanted them. And so I ordered several of these books that are going to be available sometime in August, uh, and they're free. And so I can't wait to get this book into your hands because, uh, I've, again, I've just started it, but it's been very enriching, even, even the first couple of chapters. And what he's focused on, Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 and 29, which I'll, I'll read in just a moment. But what he says in the first chapter... Uh, just the first paragraph, he says, My dad pointed out to me something Charles Spurgeon pointed out to him. In the four gospel accounts given to us in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, 89 chapters of biblical text, there's only one place where Jesus tells us about his own heart. I thought, well, that's, that's interesting. I've never, I've never investigated that. So, um, it, it, you know, as, as books try to do, they try to whet your appetite for what, what is to come. But what he, what he goes on to say is that the, the Gospels and really the New Testament, you know, gives us a, a, a picture of Jesus. You know, this is what he was like. This is the theology. This is what he did. This is what he taught. If I were to ask you to describe someone you know, uh, if I were to describe my wife, I would, I would tell you how tall she is. And I would tell you she has brown hair and she likes to smile and uh, you know that she's a she's a sweet person. But if you ask me, well, tell me, tell me, you know, what really makes her tick? And I can tell you, well, she's she's got hospitality, you know, at, at the core of her her being. That's who Sarah Moore is, you know. And so what what uh, Dane Ortland is trying to uh, trying to say is, what is at the core of who Jesus is? And he and he leads us to Matthew chapter eleven, where Jesus tells his disciples. Uh, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Gentle and humble, the name of the book, Gentle and Lowly. Uh, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Gentle and lowly, his, his, his thesis is that this is, this is the heartbeat, not only of Jesus, but this is the heartbeat of God. He is gentle with us. He is lowly. He is, uh, he is one who, who perceives those who are suffering, he perceives those who are, who are down and outcast. He perceives those who feel alone and, and lonely. And, um, and not only does he perceive them, but his ministry and his heartbeat is for them. And so we can take great comfort in that, knowing that Jesus, uh, Jesus has this heartbeat for his people. And so take that as an encouragement. Maybe I'll do some, some different uh, devotions throughout the, the next several weeks from this book, as it really has been a blessing so far. And look for that if, you, if you're interested in reading the book. Again, I've got some free books on the way. They should arrive sometime in August, and I'll let you know. We'll be passing those out. So God bless you, dear friends, and hope to see you Sunday at Youth Sunday at 10 a.m. Love you. Have a good week.